so I'm back with another like a face cam video and I really hope that this isn't going to become a regular thing but um I'm still like running off like the fumes of the heartbreak from like two days ago and there's like a thought that I've been like having in my head I don't know like you know if it's fate or spirituality or whatever but let's say if there's like something in your soul right and it deeply resonates with another person. You feel a connection in your heart with them. You want to embrace them. Be with them. And you know it's love. Then something like, you know, happens. Something like, you know, sends a signal across, you know, like all of like, you know, space time, which is connected to you and a person you know. And somebody else, you know, like, uh, like it's usually like a significant, like an, another significant other either like uh, from your life or in theirs. They come into the picture like, you know, one way or another. Almost like the serpent, the devil, in the Garden of Eden, there to tempt, you know, like in the Eve, you know, away from paradise. And that serpent, he could be like, you know, someone or she could be someone who could like offer like, you know, great sex. Yes. While offering every promise of happiness, material security, etc. But you take the serpent's offer, and you end up getting compromised with a reward that's returned in a shape that's most wondrously strange. Once you begin to want, you fall right into the hands of the devil. Now, there's an aphorism I'm going to read out. It's, an enemy is as useful as a Buddha. At first glance, You'll have every right to be mad at that serpent for stealing away what you've apparently hold, held sacred. That girl, like, you know, you you wanted to be with. That dream job. Your money or your car or whatever. But upon, like, you know, like, reflection and some wisdom, it may be that serpent is really saving you from a rocky road in the long run. Like an enemy who will unexpectedly challenge you from time to time. Testing the real virtues of valor, courage, and poise. As the homely veneer of the seemingly familiar and attractive is all stripped away, and all that's left is an uncomfortable emptiness where your own weakness awaits. By the way, the intellect, right? It's to the, in modern times, right, with Redditors and nerds alike, it's considered as the highest quality, like, you know, one can have, like the 200 IQ play, for example. But it does fuck off for your wisdom, except anxiously complicate matters into mazes. A wise man once told me that reason is the devil's, you know, greatest whore. Ultimately, real, like, in you know, a victory in life. It isn't, you know, like getting everything you've wanted in the material world which always, you know, falls prey into to, to corruption one way or another. Whether that be, like, you know, money, getting YouTube fame, or possessing that girl's, you know, or guy's in the heart all for yourself. Real victory is your willingness to open your heart to those unwritten lessons in life, which life, you know, like, has in store for you. To find out the value of your own soul like a quantum particle that inhabits your very body. That's the ultimate reward you're going to have when you know just how to lose.